Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to deal with exponential functions. Now, when you take a look at this one, you should realize that this looks an awful lot like a quadratic equation. And in a way, it actually is. So let's say that we take this and we rewrite it as follows. e to the x power quantity squared minus 3 e to the x to the first power minus 10 equals 0. So you have something raised something squared minus something to the first power minus a constant equals zero, that definitely does look like a quadratic equation. So we could say u squared minus three times u minus 10 equals zero. So that means we can solve that either by factoring or by the quadratic formula. I think in this case we can probably factor it, so this can be written as e to the x minus, let's see here, the product is minus 10, and when you add it you get minus three, that means minus five, times e to the x plus 2. I believe that works. Let's see here, when you add those up, you get minus 3. When you multiply, you get minus 10. That is it. So that means that either e to the x minus 5 equals 0 or e to the x plus 2 equals 0, which means that e to the x equals 5 or, and I should put an or there because it cannot be at the same time, e to the x equals negative 2. Now here we have a problem because there's no way that you can go e to the x, no matter what the value for x is, and get a negative number. So this results in no solution. But then we still have this portion right here, and there we can have a solution. So here we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of e to the x is equal to the natural log of 5. Of course, the natural log undoes the exponential, so we get x equal the natural log of 5. And then if we get a calculator, we get 5, takes a natural log, that means that x is approximately equal to 1.609.23 decimal places. This does not offer a solution. That's how you do a problem like that.